particularly interesting in terms of fair play. You are very well aware of the laws of the gay press. Could uh, look at Andres Iniesta. So then do you have commended South Africa as to the organization? So now I can, I would say the following, but I do it uh, without consultation with my colleagues here at this table. Uh, but I would, I would say now they deserve a 9 on 10. And the 9 on 10 at the university level is a doctorate summum uh, uh, <laughs> cum laude. Summum cum laude. So it's the highest. So in a, in a university, you will receive really something very special. And uh, perception does not exist. The uh, perfection, perfection does not exist, but 9 to 10. Do you, are you happy with 9 to 10? OK. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's not up to me to, uh, to judge the performances of the officials in uh, the officials, the match control referees yesterday. I can only say it was a very hard task that the referee trio yesterday they had on this field of play. It was not easy. It was really not easy. And they were not helped in this task. I can tell you that. In any way has, has spoiled the enjoyment or the joy and uh, I am uh, very sad and I was really, really very touched when this morning I heard about uh, this uh, news. Uh, can you link it uh, to the World Cup? I don't know. We should know exactly the background, what has happened there in Uganda. Naturally, it was at the moment when the World Cup was on, uh, on television. But has this something to do with football or not? This is not ours uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, let's say, to investigate. But he wanted to be there yesterday and to see that his dream came true. And this, if this momentum, I would close this uh, press conference and this uh, World Cup 2010 from FIFA, we have to pay homage to, to the humanist. You know that it was said, let's have, uh, enjoy humanism, humanity in this World Cup. He is the existing humanist in the world, the most remarkable, and is with his name, I close the World Cup. Nelson Madiba Mandela. Thank you so much for your attention.